Hello, my name is Josh Reisner. Today I will be teaching you guys how to make a Mapo Tofu inspired bowl of ramen. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be really, really red, and it's gonna be amazing. I learned how to make mapo tofu from my favorite restaurant in Queens, Forest Hills, it's called Spicy, check it out. The way that people make mapo tofu is just a labor of love and a lot of ingredients getting really hot with a lot of spices and it just smells amazing. So this is one of my favorite dishes to make and it is super numbing because of these Sichuan peppercorns. So I'm going to start by grinding my spices. These are Sichuan peppercorns. You could use a little bit of cumin, clove, warms everything out. People just use like anise or Sichuan peppercorns as long as you got the Sichuan peppercorns in there, but I love using cloves. And you should just grind this until it is not really a powder yet, but you could sprinkle it. I found the similarity between mapo tofu, which is cooked in a wok, and miso ramen, which is cooked in a wok, and I'm like, hey, let's maybe bring them together a little bit. So we have doubanjian. This is basically a fermented broad bean paste, it's spicy. And then we have black bean paste. This adds the saltiness that you would get from like a regular shoyu tare. We have chili oil here. Whatever flavor your chili oil is, the bowl will kind of take on that flavor. So just be careful with that. And then we have some Shaoxing wine. All of these different salty elements will come together and be the base of our mapo tofu ramen. And then I also have some long green pepper which I minced up and this is gonna add our grassiness and then of course garlic. So we're gonna start with some chiu from the top of our pot. This one I infused with some onion. Just wanna make sure it's sizzling. And then when it is, you could go ahead and add your sliced garlic. Okay, so just cook these until um, they're translucent. Add our green chili. Kind of toss this. Just want to start cooking this until the aroma comes out. And this will have like this really nice grassy, peppery flavor. Now we are ready for our spice mixture. We're gonna add a ton because this will really, really be the backbone to our bowl. See how the oil is kind of changing color? Yes, yeah, super fragrant. You can smell the citron peppercorn. You can get the clove really coming out and the cumin. So when your garlic and chili starts to look like this, go ahead and add our doubanjian. Black bean paste. You'll know it's ready when you can start to smell kind of a fruity note given off from the black beans and the doubanjian. Kind of toasting, getting real nice. This dark, dark red color. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some sugar just to balance stuff out. Now this is perfect. Super fruity. It almost smells like molasses. We're gonna go ahead and kind of deglaze with our Shaoxing. You'll hear it bubbling a little bit more because there's alcohol, Chinese cooking wine. And you wanna make sure you cook this until you cannot smell the alcohol anymore. Starting to get there. It'll, it should look really nice like this. We're gonna go in with our chili oil be really garlic heavy. And then we're going to add our soy last because we want to cook that as little as possible. And then we are going to add our tofu. Just make sure that you don't break it up too much. Did I also poach some chicken? And I'm gonna add that as well. So I'm just gonna cut this into shapes very similar to your tofu. Make sure we toss our tofu and our chicken. And it is just taking on this extreme red color. And it is time for our broth. And see how, now that we're adding that broth and kind of diluting it, it is taking on, yet again, that red color. It is beautiful. And at this point, you know, kind of halfway in to adding our broth, heat it up a little bit. And to make sure that it all sticks together and stays tight, we're gonna use a slurry. Just one part water, one part cornstarch. Make sure there are no pockets of cornstarch. You have to be a little bit careful because the more that you cook this, the more it's gonna thicken because you added that slurry. Definitely don't add it all at the same time because then you might add too much. So we're just gonna add a little bit at a time. It's perfect. So we have our mapo broth here. 
beautiful. These are thick noodles. Noodles in. Kind of want to just create a mound. And then we could start building. So we're going to take our chicken and tofu. Kind of let it sit on top without crushing it up too much. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm tearing up a little bit because of how spicy this is. Very simple toppings. Just gonna do a little bit of bean sprouts just to lay our base down. Beautifully cooked spinach. I make sure to cut everything so it's very straight and geometrical. Like I made sure to cut all the ends off. I mean, I still ate them, didn't waste anything, but it just looks a little bit nicer when things are nice and tight. Scallions on, and then those will kind of fade into the bowl. Mala spice, just a little bit more chili oil on the top. Beautiful. And that is Mapo Tofu inspired ramen. So it's all done, it is literally staring at me. This thing is so red. Let's try it. Okay. Whoa. Wow, you get the black bean instantly. Then you get the dobanjang. Then you get all that Sichuan pepper and then that sugar balances everything out. The noodles coated perfectly with the slurry. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's definitely very spicy, but super well-rounded. It's just the texture of the noodles with the soup is, is to die for, it's crazy. This bowl of Mapo Tofu Ramen is done. It is amazing. It's super red, it's super spicy, and it is just everything I wished for. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and catch the two other videos where I make totally different types of really good ramen. One is a chinton stock, which is the, the base for this. And then the other one is an adobo-inspired ramen. <laughs> That's really spicy, bro.